Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the blank site process for the production of a composite material. So let's get into this video. It is also known as the direct oxidation process or the blank site process. It was developed by an blank site corporation. One of the blank site process is called a DIMOX, which stands for the directed metal oxidation process. In this, a preform is used as a, a near net shear reinforcement and a barrier to stop the growth of the matrix material is placed on the preform surface. In this method, a molten metal is subjected to a directed oxidation that is desired reaction product forms on the surface of the molten metal and grows outward. So in this diagram, we can see this complete process a reinforcement or a preform is placed inside a chamber which is coated with a or covered with a growth barrier or a covered layer and then molten alloy is placed in a container so that the reinforcement can be immersed inside the molten alloy the pores present in the reinforcement are filled with the molten alloy or matrix so that it can be uh, cooled after some time to get the required ceramic matrix composite part then liquid metal plus gas reaction gives the ceramic matrix preform with reinforcement for example the aluminium reacts with air to give aluminium oxide and aluminium reacts with nitrogen to give aluminium nitrate. The end product in this process is a three dimensional interconnected network of a ceramic material about 5 to 30 percent of unreacted metal. The fabric is coated with a proprietary coating to protect the fiber from highly reducing aluminium and to provide a weak interface which is desirable for the enhanced toughness. This must be removed if the composite is to be used at temperatures above the melting point of aluminium. On the other hand, the presence of a residual metal can be exploited to provide some fracture toughness. Advantages are it is an easy process and the disadvantage is the reaction between the uh, reinforcement and matrix material to be controlled otherwise it reacts with the matrix material or the molten alloy at excessive rate so that the required product can not be obtained as much as possible that we are required in the correct proportion so this is a short video friends about the langside process if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and please subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching